good morning uh, this is a rectangular coordinate system so in general in electromagnetic fields this is the major topic uh, to represent a vector in three dimensional rectangular coordinate system in electromagnetic fields to denote a vector let us consider let us assume uh, a bar is a vector this particular vector can be denoted in rectangular coordinate system as ax and ax bar and capital ay and small ay bar and capital az and az bar where ax ay az are denotes magnitudes and ax bar ay bar and az bar represents the unit vector their respective coordinates so in general this is the three dimensional way a point p in rectangular coordinate system can be denoted with the coordinates of x y z and these three are so mutually perpendicular to each other so this relate uh, represents x axis and this one is y axis and it will represents z axis if you observe this is the right handed rule so x y z and these three are so mutually perpendicular to each other the angle between x and y is 90 and y and z are also 90 and z and x are also 90 degrees so this particular system is treated as a orthogonal system now the unit vectors uh, here this direction denotes ax bar and this one denotes ay bar and this indicates az bar so these are denoted the direction of their particular corresponding uh, coordinates now coming to the differential length in rectangular coordinate system in electromagnetic fields a uh, differential length and differential surface and differential volume these three are the major topics that means so point p in rectangular coordinate system assume this is point p so x y z coordinates now assume this particular point is move along on particular direction let us say this particular point is moving in this particular direction so this is the small differential line so i am not moving this particular point along x or along y so this particular point is moving along only along z direction let us assume this particular point is capital q that means the chain in length is only along z direction so let us assume this small length is treated as a dz so the differential length along z is nothing but dz it is a magnitude and it is only along z direction that's why it is represented as az bar now consider the same point p point with coordinates of x y z are moving in this particular manner so let us assume this is point uh, uh, this is the point r so this is the direction along y so the differential length along y so denotes assume this small change in length is dy now the differential length along y is nothing but dy and the direction can be denoted with a vector ay bar in the similar case so when r again it is moved to along z so here also dz az bar and the q2 again let us assume this is the point s q to s again this is also dy like this the differential lengths can be directly written by using the small change in differential length similar way differential length along x is also dx ax bar so that the general representation of differential length in rectangular coordinate system dl is equal to dx ax bar plus dy ay bar plus dz az bar that means so this particular one equation we will get by using the p point can be moving not in one direction the p point is moving in all the directions suppose this p point let us consider a cube here for better understanding here i am considering a cube so this is one particular cube now this particular p point is moving to this particular point capital a so this is the capital a so now p point is moving to the capital A. So the path considered here, so I suppose to move like this, this particular point from P to R and uh, R to, let us assume this is capital B. So R to B 
and B to A. If you are consider any of the direction, that means P to Q and Q to S and S to A, whatever it may be, the final answer is same. So now my point P is moving from here to here. Now in that case, I am considering the direction from P to R and R to B and B to A. That time, the differential length formula DL is equal to so first P to R. So P to R means this is along y direction. So now the magnitude along y is considered as dy and this is related to a y bar direction. So dy a y bar plus and next coming to the R to B. So assume this R to B is negative x not positive y. So this is the sorry this is the positive x and this is the negative x direction. So this R to B also negative x direction. Let us consider this particular uh, differential length is dx. So it is dx, but the direction of this particular one is minus ax bar. And similarly, plus now next B to A. B to A is nothing but it is simply along z direction. So magnitude is z and uh, unit vector is a bar. So like this, we can represent a differential length in rectangular coordinate system. So based on the uh, point moving from one point to another point. In the similar case, uh, we need to consider a differential surface. So since it is a cube, it consisting of six surfaces, top surface, bottom surface, top surface is along plus z, bottom surface is along minus z, and similarly right surface and left surface and front surface, back surface. Front and back are along plus x and minus x and right and left are plus y and minus y and top and bottom are plus z and minus z directions like that so there are six surfaces so first suppose if i want to uh, so derive the equation for uh, differential surface along z so differential surface along z means here plus z direction is the surface is a top surface the top surface so the diagram is like this so this is related to the top surface so top surface and the differential and this is the dx and this one is the dy horizontal is dy and this is the negative x direction length is dx now the area this particular one the area is directly written as dx dy and this is the direction along az bar so it is dx dy az bar differential surface along z and similar case differential surface along y so this is the positive y so positive y means this is the uh, positive y direction positive y direction in that case, the differential surface formula is, so it is also very easy manner. So this is the differential surface along a y bar direction. So this is the distance of dx and this is the vertical dz. Now the formula is dx dz along a y bar. In similar way, differential surface along x is also same. x means nothing but it is a front surface. So this distance is uh, dy and this is nothing but uh, dz. Now the formula is dy dz and along ax bar this is the differential surface along x like that we can simply uh, write on the differential uh, surface uh, their respective directions and the next one differential volume so dv so coming to the dv differential volume cube consisting of only one particular volume there is no direction at all so the volume the basic formula for differential volume is dx dy and dz there is no direction at all so when i am observing so differential length and differential surface and differential volume so the differential lengths are all are in uh, vector parameters in the similar manner differential surface are also a vector parameters since consisting of magnitude and direction these are also here their magnitude and direction so these two are treated as a vector parameters but coming to the differential volume so it is a scalar parameters so finally my conclusion is so this is a rectangle coordinate system with coordinates of x y z so three coordinates so a x bar a y bar a z bar are the unit vectors and the differential length these are all are in meters so dl along z dz a z bar y dy a y bar dx along a x bar direction so and differential volume is the scalar parameter and remaining dl and ds are the vector parameters